The three and two Tampa Bay Buccaneers are coming to Pittsburgh on Sunday to face the one and four Pittsburgh Steelers. Today, we're gonna to be doing the preview for the game. Hopefully you guys enjoy. So starting with the Buccaneers at quarterback, Tom Brady at 1400 passing yards, seven touchdowns and one interception. Playing very good football at the age of 45. I know a lot of people were saying that he was washed earlier in the year like they do usually every single season to start the season. They start to say that he's washed, he's, he's not the same anymore. And then he goes on, brings the Buccaneers or brings the Patriots to the playoffs and then even high into the playoffs, even to the Super Bowl. No, don't doubt Tom Brady. Never doubt Tom Brady, especially if you're a Steeler fan. You know what Tom Brady did to us over the past 20 years. He just absolutely destroys our secondary. It's not good. He plays good football against the Pittsburgh Steelers. We don't have um, very much success. Now, of course, he's in a different territory with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers compared to the Patriots. I don't think things are going to change. I think he's going to have a big game as well. Looking at the ground game for the Buccaneers, Leonard Fournette is their leading rusher with 280 yards and a touchdown. Receiving-wise, Mike Evans, who, uh, who did miss a game from suspension, he's at 20 receptions, 316 yards, and three touchdowns. Looking at the injury report for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Cameron Brait, tight end, he's a questionable, Russell Gage, questionable, Mike Edwards, questionable, Carl Nassib, questionable, and Donovan Smith, questionable. Looking at the Buccaneers' last five, they won against the Atlanta Falcons at home, 21-15. Of course, there was a questionable rough in the passer call that was called on Tom Brady that could have um, really had a chance to, for Atlanta to win that game. They lost the Kansas City Chiefs at home 41-31. They defeated the Green Bay Packers. I'm sorry, they lost to the Green Bay Packers 14-12. And then they uh, defeated the Saints and the Cowboys to start their season. So they started off 2-0, then went 2-2 two two with two back-to-back uh, -back losses at home. Then get their uh, win at home against the Falcons, which could have been a loss if you know the ref didn't call that rough in the passer call. Very questionable, I'm sure. Uh, Tampa Bay sitting three and two, like I said, top of the NFC South. They're of course at 83 points allowed and 103 points for four. Excuse me. Pittsburgh Steelers now looking at their players. We have Kenny Pickett behind center now of the season. He's at 447 yards, zero passing touchdowns, four interceptions. On the ground, he is at 25 yards and two touchdowns. Of course, he had those two touchdowns against the New York Jets um, during his debut. Had a terrible, uh, not so much terrible his part, but of course it was not a good starting debut for his um, season or his career. Last week he had 327 yards passing, which is of course very good. Definitely the highest, of course, he was the highest passer on the Steelers this year. To throw an interception, he was 34 for 52 completion. So he didn't actually play terrible, or just of course the Steelers getting blown out, losing 38 to three. Was not a good look for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Of course that makes Kenny Pickett, makes any quarterback look bad when you lose that bad and you only score three points. On the ground, Najee Harris, 69 carries, 222 yards and a touchdown. We talked about this earlier, we made a video earlier in the week. What is wrong with Najee Harris? He can't seem to be getting it going. He's running scared, he's not running aggressive. He needs to pick that up. Of course, we're gonna see a lot more uh, carries from Jalen Warren, a rookie running back. So it's gonna be split now, especially with Kenny Pickett more mobile. He's gonna be able to take away some red zone points from Najee as well. So. I don't know, we might see the quick decline of Najee. I hope not, I really hope not. But of course, Najee has to get it going. Offensive line does not help. Receiving, Dante Johnson at 28 receptions, 267 yards. However, our rookie, George Pickens, is having himself a season so far. He's starting to pick it up big time. That's 17 receptions for 250 yards. He has no touchdowns, but he's getting open a lot now. He's gonna be a big target for Kenny Pickett um, going on the rest of the season. Pat Fryman was, of course, another big target. He's at 235 yards and a touchdown. He was dealing with a concussion. Looking at his injury report right now, he's at questionable, along with a lot of other players on the Steelers. Mason Cole questionable, Deontay Johnson questionable. How I, I did see today, he did, he did have a full practice. Um, Zach Gentry questionable. Terrell Edmonds questionable. Pat Fryman was, like I said, questionable. Looking at stats from the both teams now. 347 total yards a game for the Buccaneers, 308 total yards a game for Steelers. Actually pretty surprised by that. Yards passing, Buccaneers are at 281 a game, 220 for the Steelers. 88 yards rushing for the Steelers, 66 yards rushing for the Buccaneers. Yards allowed, 332 a game, 448 a game, 428 a game for the Steelers. 217 pass yards allowed for the Buccaneers, 299 pass yards for the Steelers. Steelers secondary is pretty bad this year, especially with TJ Watt not getting a pass rush. That's of course allowing quarterbacks to have more time, not be able to force or maybe rush the throws 
and then rush yards allowed, 129 yards rushing yard allowed for the Steelers, and 115 rush yards allowed for the Buccaneers. So Buccaneers have a very good defense. Steelers, they did have a good defense, but now they're dealing with injuries and our secondary is trash. We can't stop the run. It's been like that ever since really our second game against the Patriots. Steelers are bottom of the AFC North at one and four. So that's the preview. We broke it down. Matchup predictor on ESPN right now. Tampa Bay predicted to win 82.7%. Uh, Steelers at 17.1%. The money line is uh, minus 400 for the Buccaneers. The spread is eight. Over under is 44.5. So that is the preview. Sorry for stuttering a bit today. Um, I was looking all over the place because ESPN has, of course, like the leaders. So, like, had passing leaders, Mr. Trubisky. Obviously, he's not starting. Looking at Mr. Trubisky stats, so he's at 653 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. But, of course, he's not starting. Kenny Pickett's the guy the rest of the year, unless he plays absolutely terrible or he gets injured. But anyway, that's the preview for that game. If you want to know what I predicted to who won in other games, check out my video from yesterday. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.